And there were questions that were even asked about, I think, was it the GTV or no, the Metro TV lady asked um, how she was going to explain why the fundamentals of the economy would not be weak now because the city is now 16 cities against the dollar and, and all that, and some of the responses. Your, your own assessment so far? Um, well, the Kuno says out there, said the vice president did well, others to say that he could have done better. How many minutes do I have? Uh, you have uh, four minutes on this, please. Thank you. With all due respect, four minutes strictly. Thank you. First of all, Parliament of Ghana passed what is known as the Emissions Levy Act 2023. That act was assented to by Nanado Dankwa Ekufuado. In fact, Act 1112 is still in our statute books. Assented to. H. E. John Dramani Mahama is saying that we don't need this law. It must not be in our statute books. What is it that you don't understand? Has this law not been passed and assented to? That's the most important he says the question. the tax is not in Two, implementation. I beg you. It's a tax. It's a law. The other issue is that he calls our manifesto copy festo, suggesting that it was a copied product. Then at the same time, he says it is empty. So did we copy an empty manifesto? I mean, sometimes the logic is so terribly poor that you don't know how don't to understand. even You're proceed. saying that they say because it it says copy. our manifesto and he is copied. It as, as empty. And, so and you mean that you copied an empty, an, manifesto. an empty manifesto. How is that even possible? Dr. Mahmoud mm. performance. Please. Now, you see, we have also indicated in our manifesto that one of the things that unsettle homes is the issue of fertility. So we are going to build a specialized 500 bed children hospital and facility hospital. Look, look, if you look at homes and what the issues of fertility have done to people, you have no end. The hospitals that do these things, the cost of doing it is beyond the reach <coughs> of most households. H. E. John Dramani Mahama, as sympathetic as he is, is saying that this is what we need to do. We have also indicated in our manifesto that if you have tertiary students about to move from secondary school and start your tertiary education from January, we have good news for you. That good news is that all you need to do is to buy your books and many other things and just go to classroom and start learning once you have your admission letter. In fact, all you need to assess the free uh, tertiary uh, um, uh, academic fees thing is what we call your admission letter and your admission letter. So young people, we have good news for you. Get ready to have tertiary education, whether the, poly, uh, uh, the polytechnics or uh, technical universities, the colleges of uh, education, and most importantly, the tertiary institution, I mean the universities as well. So get ready. Now you see, Roland, you've been trying to, as it were, tease me into a conversation. I have always maintained. And this morning, I witnessed an encounter between you and Haruna. Which is you, what? You asked a very simple question. Who is the chair of the economic management team? He says, Dr. Bamia. You heard him. Shall I ask a yes, question? Doctor. Then you asked him. The man says, I have proposed 33 policies and implemented them. He said that. Then at the same time, he said, no. He's only the chair of the economic management team, and that they don't take policy initiatives. So you see, when you have such a person. It says they propose. I beg you. So they only propose. Yes. But the person what he says, said was that they propose. Yes, but the man himself is saying that I have implemented 33 policies. He even mentioned gold for oil, and that it is his initiative. How then do you want to have a conversation with said people? Why they not? approbate and reprobate. The key issue is that we are in an economic mess, orchestrated 
by Dr. Bamia and his boss. It is that economic mess that A.G. John Dramani Mahama is coming to solve. So you see, in 2016, a group of people packaged themselves as problem solvers. This morning, we are thinking of how to solve them as the problem. So they I came. Understand. You are thinking of <laughs> how to solve. You see, they came as problem solvers. Uh -huh. After seven years, eight months, they have become the problem we are looking for a solution to solve. Okay. Is it not curious, my brother, that 61 billion Ghana cities. You have a minute. Yes. Of ordinary people's money, 61 billion had been taken away through a painful haircut supervised by Baumia and his boss. Middle class income completely wiped away. So my focus this morning is not to give credence to any useless conversation because the problem of Ghana is the truth. And that is why H.G. John Dramani Mahama said, a vote for Baumia is a vote for the third term of Mr. Akufu Addo. And Ghanaians cannot afford that painful experience again. So I want to urge the totality of our people that December 7, 2024, present a unique opportunity to reset Ghana for progress, for job, and for accountability. If you want accountability, I urge you all, come on board. Mr. Harina Mohamed, yes, really. um, your own uh, assessment of the press encounter yesterday. It was very fantastic. Um, the flag bearer of our party was very on point. Um, he answered uh, questions that emanated from um, journalists who were given the opportunity. In fact, your representative on that platform was the only person that asked a question and to get the opportunity to uh, ask questions again. He asked, she asked three questions. You're talking about Bella Mundi? Yes. She asked three questions. She ha he has a question about why is it that am, the president, I am the vice that president, he, she had have not made comments about the death of eight people in the last election? He made a comment yesterday. He responded to that particular message, uh, that question. Um, I'm very surprised that my, 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 my brother, I was going to see my Leonard mm -hmm. colleague. <laughs> There are one distinctive thing, characteristics between these two candidates. The candidate he is presenting today has been president of this republic. The one we are presenting has never been president of this republic. He never had the opportunity to champion his own by insisting but he had the opportunity to assist. In his bid to assist, he has the opportunity to make policy proposals. And not all policies that he proposed to the man that has the right and the power per the Constitution to implement will accept. Out of the policies that he made, he account to us 33 of them were being accepted and allowed through his supervision to be implemented. What is wrong to state the facts? <laughs> Which is My brother fact? is talking about. What is the fact? The fact is that he championed the implementation of certain policies within government. And I always say it as a host, not everything that you suggest to your producer that he takes or she takes. And that is a fact. Like zip line and the rest. Yes. He's talking about resetting Ghana. We were in this country. Tier two pension funds for public sector workers amounting to about 3.1 billion Ghana cities. Uh, I, is that that place that we are setting, we are resetting Ghana to? These pension funds cannot be paid. We were in Dumsa for four good years. Are we resetting Ghana to that state? 
13 billion in areas that is owed to peacekeeping uh, uh, mission and personnel. That was what it was. Is that where we are resetting Ghana to? VRA, NETCO, TOR, ECG were indebted to banks and threatening their stability. Is that where we want to set Ghana to? Teachers in this country will work for years and they'll be paid for three months. Is that where we want to set this country, reset this country back to? Doctors work for 11 months and they have to be paid less than that. Is that where we want to reset this country to? I said what you presented is empty because you don't have a generic idea. You don't have that document to be able to implement what you are doing, what you have said to do. Because your own flag bearer wrote in his book, My First Coup d'etat, and said that as a young man riding bicycle down the lane, he could not take a decision by himself. Lo and behold, when he became president, he appointed three wise men. When he exited power I and struggling, understand. you take a quote from the book. Yes. Recording. So what? How? How was he able to make personal decisions to be able to feather himself in education, even contest for member of parliament? Because even to become because a because vice president because by that because because, because, because because he he is he being guided. Somebody has to do that. And even when he had the opportunity and power, <laughs> he had to get three let wise me, men. Let me let, let me, me let, let, let me finish on this. Three, 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 the, the academic fee. academic fee. That's not true. And, he and does, don't confuse my, yourself. Uh, uh, he asked you here when we started. Academic user fees. He brought the user fees, and I said the user fee is just so, a component of the academic. Don't confuse yourself. I I, I, I am still making my point Please. on that. Please, let, let <clears> have <throat> somebody's coming to school. You said you will pay. The person cannot afford by what you are saying. You want to pay the person's first year, level hundred fees. And the person will be in the school. You if the person cannot afford, you are saying it's the person possible. is going. I'm not saying it's not possible. I am telling you that mm -hmm. logically, logically, they have not thought through the implementation of this policy. Oh. And that is why Dr. Baumia is saying he is going to begin with persons with disability. <laughs> that you call what he's explaining here is even in contradiction with his national youth organizer and the communications officer. They said it is, does not include teacher training colleges. They Who said say that? It is only for universities. No, technical tertiary, universi tertiary, technical tertiary, universities. Technical universities. I am saying tertiary. what your national youth organizer. It is contained in your youth manifesto. And that is what you said. No, Fact check no, me. No, Fact check no. me against the national youth organizer. Wrong. If you I am wrong. lying, say it. Please, please so I, I am telling you. I am telling you. Yeah. Well, that Sorry, no, I, see, I, I get four minutes. Yes, yeah, so, so, so sitting down to do an economic forum is not different from what they did in Senchi. They will learn us in youth and employment. People will All not right. get out of opportunity. I sincerely hope the people of Ghana. I, I, as, are you try, as you try to wrap up, at the end of the day, they are key conversations. So we have Sophia Kufu, there's even Dr. Michael Ado of uh, former Kama Group of Companies, etc., all lamenting about haircuts, et cetera. They keep people, they keep going on the streets, et cetera. So who should be responsible for the DDEP, the external uh, debt rearrangement, et cetera, that we have? The cocoa board, where we have cocoa production also going on. Who then is responsible? But that is what I'm trying to tell the people of Ghana. You are not giving me enough time. You are allowing these borrow and spend economy people to continue. Please go ahead. In 2022, they collapsed the economy. <laughs> the vice president himself said that it. it's he collapsed the economy <laughs> in 2022. <laughs> so these are the borrowing spent. They are still that borrowing to fund the debt to the IMF. How can they give us all these freebies? They can't. They had to have haircuts to fund the, the debt, like you're saying. Who is responsible? The government that implemented the haircuts. They are responsible. Whatever has gone wrong, the government should take responsibility. And happily yesterday, the vice president came out openly and boldly and admitted that the economy collapsed in 2022. 
and, and, and so you had him yesterday. I, I watched a bit of it, and particularly that portion just flashed across to me. So what we have is a government which collapsed in 2022. It's in the IMF now promising you heaven. Where are they going to get the money to pay for the freebies? Where is the NDC going to get the money to pay for the freebies? When they haven't confronted how they are going to raise revenue to pay off the debts. So both of them are lost. That's why we are saying that. You need to deal with Mr. Chermatin, who has a well thought through plan. Your mama is now saying he's going to call an economic summit. Four years that he has to discuss the economy. When the great transformational plan has been subjected already to an economic summit in Accra, has been subjected to a discussion with the top brass in the uh, 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 University of Ghana Business School and all that, when it has been submitted to the media for scrutiny and its provisions are tried and tested, it is going to raise local capital, it's going to break the cycle of debt, it's going to transform the economy, it is going to create opportunities and jobs for the young people of this country. We are going to ring fence the IMF debt, operate as we are going, make sure we kill off the debts, but improve and raise revenue and reposition the private sector effectively. How do you reposition the private sector? That's where I began from. You build capital for the private sector. You build local capital for the private sector. You begin by letting them have easy access to competitive finance. When they have access to competitive finance, it's through very, very low interest rates so that they can be competitive with the Chinese who come here borrowing at 3% to the dollar in their country to come here. So how can they be competitive with Chinese goods if they are borrowing at 33%? So that's the first step. The second step is that you deepen the sources of capital, which is to build the Ghana Stock Exchange. Offload the ill-performing 30% black hole in the economy of the SOEs. You change cocoa purchasing and localize it. You don't go and borrow foreign exchange and come in, change it into but that's CDs. that's what Coco is not doing. After, yeah, after, after, after the GTP, it. obviously, told them to do that. They have now decided to do that. But do they do the mechanics of it? I think we to On be able our to stream, do it. I, have, we I, have, are watching I it have this well. one from so, um, Michael, as well as Abdallah Said, who says that um, Mr. Alan Chamantin is part of the reason why Ghana is in this mess. It is was Mr. he in cabinet? It is Mr. Was he in cabinet? Mr. Chematin was in cabinet. It's so he accepted some of these rules. It is very interesting. The policy direction oh, that has yes, please. That, that have he is always landed us here. He is always explained. Collective accountability, individual. Collective responsibility, individual accountability is important. And I see the attempts by the manifesto leader, uh, manifesto chairman, former majority leader of the MPP, saying that Alan Chematin. Oh, uh, 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 Honorable Chairman Sabunzu, he is widely quoted as saying that Alan Chermatin, as head of the Cabinet Subcommittee on Economy, is more powerful than Baumia as head no, of the but economic they claim management. Baumia is a useless. <laughs> That's what they have been. So saying. they are now saying that Allah was responsible for this government. That's so now if Allah was responsible, how can you say that? No, I'm saying no, that. No, 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 no. You have so much time. No, this is. You have so much time. I think you have so much time. Lawyer, lawyer, you have so much time. This is my time. This is my time. This is my time. I will not let you speak. I will not let you speak. This is my time. No, I will not let you speak. This is my time. I will not let you speak. This is why Allah has. This is my time. I will not let you speak. No, this is my time. I will not let you speak. I will not let you speak. The first time I was truncated for your benefit, I will not continue to let you speak. Have you ever seen your mama say that? I will not let you speak. 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 I was speaking. And yeah, you, messed me up. you know this strategy that is we, we encounter it when we go into the communities on community manifesto <laughs> where they tend to just muddy everything and etc. Please, your last word, lawyer Where were we? Well, you were ending. End for me, please. You have a minute. <laughs> I'm ending to the people of Ghana, particularly the young people of Ghana. You need an individual who is on top of his game. Yes, Mr. Chairman was part of the government, but it is that experience and his accumulated experience before being in government, his contribution to government, that has positioned him well now as the one who can deliver the spaces and opportunities for young people to access capital and jobs, startups to access capital and create incomes for the government 
to have superior revenue from the activities that will go on in the strategic sectors that he's bringing. Right. Ten strategic right. sectors right. that have capacity how would you, how to would you produce rate the press encounter? billions How would you dollars? rate the press encounter of Dr. Mahmoudou Baobia? Um, zero to ten. That God is good because finally he's confessed he collapsed the economy in 2022. I say rate, rate it. <laughs> God is good. He, he, he has admitted that he's collapsed the economy how would you in rate 2022. It? Zero to ten. Zero to ten. Mm. Let's say you are a teacher. Your mark yes. is zero to ten. Yes, I'll, I'll I'll give him I'll give him ten. Ten yes. over ten. Yes, I will. Zero to ten. What happened yesterday? You didn't watch. There's something yes. happened yesterday. And the can worry you. Okay. There's something happened. So, um, Harida Mohamed, thank you for passing through. Um, tomorrow, who are you sending? I'm not the one in charge of the They don't want to take responsibility for the economic management. Be he, careful. He, he, he decided to take a dig at you at the beginning, saying that you were his boss. You were director but, of community. Yeah, yes. Yes, it's not and a good dick. It's a okay, genuine sentence. And, and he, he, I, I hope to try. He, 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 he has been much. a very good so person. Let me just say that the person the, who says somebody is in the, uh, indecisive. Quick, who are I sometimes get worried like, about. Everything he gets appointed. Lawyer, it is, it is, <laughs> was he not part? It is, it is, was he not part of these same people the defending the economy and messing us up, and now proposing everything? Now we have Prince Ananis Salasi who says that today the show makes sweets. If I am interested in contest, I will come. But he himself said he Okay. And then um, Nelson Akotia says that for all the things that have to be done, we have to be realistic. The economy is in a bad shape. It is how people feel in their pockets that is going to be the benchmark by which they vote. Nobody should kid themselves. Imelda Nasser says, look... We are in deep trouble and times are hard. Solutions have to come from the right people, not all those who created the problem. And Atukwe Kwe also says the butter fund. Who is the butter fund? What? Yeah. Mr. Yawe, is that how they refer to you? Who? The, is it they? Roland. The, 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 Roland. I'm, I'm reading from the Last comments. Week, yes, did please. you watch the Democratic Party con uh, Congress, uh, um, their conference in the U.S.? Okay. Where did you see Vice so, President Kamala Harris say I have, his boss never allowed him, and that when he makes suggestions, okay. His so boss let me read this. This one is coming from. And that blueprint is Ricardo says, Roland, today your line of questions were up. My line of questions are always up. Kamala Harris, for the Vice President, have you read John Mahama say that John Mahama was allowed to attend funerals and social events? Please, please, let me read this one. Then I read some LPM from the one. Please, please, please. We are reading now. Yes, sir. Lawyer Elsie Apao Clue says, The last time I checked, please, please, oh, please, let me read this. The last time I checked our laws, the vice president remains the chair of the police council. How can he not know what measures were taken to address issues concerning eight Ghanaians who were murdered during an election his government managed? How can Ghanaians be safe? With this man as president. And Charpone, four people were killed. All right. People were killed you said people were killed where? Charpone. Charpone. All right. They do? Are they animals? All right. And this one also from Kakri Samo. Under the current constitution, only the president can take credit for any and every policy formulated and implemented by any of his appointees. It is disingenuous on the part of Dr. Baumia to take credit for some so called policies when he claims he was a mate and decide to disassociate himself from policies that did not do well and have led Ghanaians into a hell hole. This is Aaron's dishonesty. Kakri Samwa. Now let's do Dewa. Uh, step into the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. Now with Dewa Direct, all you need to do is to make sure you dial star 446 hash and again, pick the range of the numbers 1 to 39 and win big 20 times. See your stake three times and 400 times your stake and then also you get to win cash every evening when draws are made at 7 p.m. and wait when it's Sunday 6 p.m. early bet they also love dewa chop money and so at 10 a.m. you make sure that you dial star 446 hash choose the range of the numbers 1 to 39 win big 20 times 40 times and 400 times you can go online easy peasy play dewa-nla.com that portal is available or you can always use the usd shoko star 446 hash. Just in case you want some customer interactions and some clarifications, call the following numbers 055 
053-247-879. And I have to tell you that today we are in one of the hot spots when it comes to elections right here in Ghana. The Ododo, the Odo constituency. It's just close to us, actually, from Gamashi, etc. So, Bella Mundi, the one who asked the question yesterday of the eight murdered Ghanaians in the last election, has been one of the great hosts we have in Ghana, right here on TV3 New Day. We'll be moderating that community manifesto conversation. But in the meantime, just in case you want to get interactive, you can always do so. Uh, I have this one also coming from Kofi Kwating Amenin. And also says uh, a lot of things need to be done to ensure that Ghana is up. But in the meantime, we're taking a break. Thank you all for coming. We're taking a break. We'll be right back.